For the new developments that we have, I would like to defer to the works of uh, Sean Billings about the new topics. He had done a wonderful job and I let him to cover it. I'm Sean Billings of Billings Surveying and Mapping, a professional land surveyor in Stumpwater, Texas. I wanted to talk about the Triumph LS from Javide GNSS. I've been using this receiver for over one year and wanted to discuss some of the features and the advantages of the radical departure in design from conventional RTK receivers, both in terms of form factor and the use of a monopod. One of the things that I greatly appreciate about the Triumph LS and the use of a monopod is the ease with which I can store the Triumph LS in a vehicle. By collapsing the pole, I can easily store the Triumph LS in the floorboard of any car, truck, or SUV. Furthermore, in the field, I find it much easier to navigate through brush, vines, and other obstacles with the compact footprint of the Triumph LS and the monopod. Even in open terrain, I find it much easier to carry the Triumph LS over my shoulder. The monopod is actuated by three tangle-free, very secure locking levers. Simply snap the lock open to extend a leg and then snap it closed to lock the leg in place. Together with the locking levers, the monopod is also fitted with a double bubble. On the left is an eight minute bubble and on the right is a 40 minute bubble. These bubbles are visible to the down-facing camera of the Triumph LS, which we'll see in just a moment, and can be viewed in real time on the screen. Notice that the bubble on the left is more sensitive to the apparent movement of the pole than the one on the right. Let's look at the Triumph LS itself. At the top is an external GNSS antenna port. Next to that is an external UHF antenna port, generally not necessary. Across the bottom, we have an RS-232 port for serial connections, an ethernet port for local area networks, and a power port for charging, all of which are protected from the elements by these silicone covers. Across the bottom of the face panel are hard buttons, as well as on the right and left sides and the top. Notice the bright, matte finish capacitive touchscreen. On the other side, we have an external audio jack, a host USB port that's great for connecting to thumb drives, and a USB mini port which is used for connecting to a Windows PC with mobile device center. Across the back, we have a micro SD card and two SIM card slots. The protrusions across the back are for the internal UHF, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth antennas. Here we have a forward-facing digital camera, which can be used for documenting points in the field as well as photogrammetry. On the bottom, we have the down-facing camera I mentioned earlier, an LED flashlight, which is great for when there's more work than day. Integrated tilt compensators and compass adjust coordinates epic by epic for tilting errors. The LS can also be set to lift and tilt mode, which triggers a shot when the LS is plumbed and stationary. Providing for completely hands-free operation. The batteries of the LS provide 20 hours of RTK operation. Compared to a 2 meter pole in a standard configuration, Triumph LS 
is much smaller and easier to carry, as well as being lighter. The Triumph LS has no external data collector to hang on limbs, vines, and brush, as well as no external UHF antenna to be protected, as these things are all internal to the receiver. Also, the simple physics of a pole that is less than a meter in length when fully collapsed compared to a pole that's in excess of two meters with the receiver head on the top make the LS a natural fit for field use.